Hi, my name is Melanie Flores and I am an audiology graduate student at the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign. And in this video, I'm going to be giving a brief overview of the assistive listening devices available to the public. What are assistive listening devices? Assistive listening devices are personal amplifiers or technologies that improve the sound and listening experience for the user. And importantly, there are assistive listening devices available to both hearing aid and non-hearing aid users. The first type of assistive listening technology are infrared systems. And the way these work are that they convert sound to a light signal and send it to the receiver worn by the user. These are used to amplify the sound coming from the source and stream it directly to the headphones or hearing aids that the user may be using. And these are a very good option for listening when you're watching TV. And these are also found in classrooms and in theaters. And here I have an image of what an infrared system may look like. And here we have this little dial thing that is used to increase the volume of whatever it is that you're listening to. And also, if you see this blue sign in any public space, then that means that there is an infrared system available for you to use, and you just have to inquire how to get access to this system. Another option is an induction loop system, and this is essentially a wire that can be looped around a room or a specific area, and this is what this image on the bottom right is showing is essentially a box and that everything within that box you are looped and that means that if you have a hearing aid with a telecoil then it will pick up the signal as long as you are within the induction loop but once you step out then that's when the signal can kind of get distorted and it might not be the best quality. An induction loop system is available in some classrooms, theaters, places of worship, or even public transportation centers. And if you see this blue sign with the T on it, that means that if you have a telecoil system on your hearing aids, then you might be able to connect to this induction loop system. Another option is a personal FM system. And the main goal with these is to improve speech understanding in large group settings and, set, and listening to speech over a distance. And these work by um, having the sound source picked up by a speaker and then the speech signal is sent directly to the user, to their hearing aids or their earbuds or headphones that they may be using. And these are very popular in classroom settings, specifically for children and or um, in meetings. Another option are the telephone amplifiers, and these increase the overall volume of the phone for improved listening experience. So these are perfect for people that have stopped using a cell phone or a landline because they're not able to listen when they are talking on the phone or they just feel like the volume is not loud enough. And there are options for cell phones and landlines and there are also options for hearing aid and non-hearing aid users. The benefits of amplified phones are that they have large key numbers so they're easy to see and easy to dial. There is a caller ID so you're able to see where, where your call is coming from. And some even include flashing lights as an alert system to let you know when you have an incoming call. Some, um, so the hearing aids with the telecoil can also stream directly from your landline. And that is an option that you can talk to your audiologist about. The next assistive listening device that is available to the public are alerting systems. And these are typically used for the hearing impaired to notify them when there is an event occurring in their surroundings. However, these can be used by non-hearing aid users as well. And there are many devices that use 
flashing lights or even vibrations to signal when there are events occurring like a phone call, your doorbell ringing, or even alarms. And there are many types of alerting systems out there. So, you know, some simple research and then you'll be able to find the alerting system that is best for you and that way you are able to feel safe and comfortable at home. Lastly, we have Bluetooth wireless technology. And with Bluetooth wireless technology, the sound that you are wanting to listen to can be streamed directly to your hearing aids if you are a hearing aid user. And these, the streaming can come from the television, from the computer, your cell phone, or even landline phones. And if you are a hearing aid user with newer hearing aids, then you are most likely going to have Bluetooth compa compatibility for iPhone and or Android softwares. And depending on how old your phone may be, this might um, differ, but this is something you can definitely um, settle with your audiologist. And with wireless technology, and if you are a hearing aid user, there are many um, portable microphone options that can stream directly to your hearing aids. And again, this is also something you can discuss with your audiologist to find out the different wireless technology options that are available to you. So that was my brief overview of assistive technology devices and I hope this video was helpful in kind of giving you more information and if you have any questions feel free to contact us at the audiology clinic at 217-333-2205. Thank you.